me Soraya and I'm a new YouTube vlogger and I, I talk about acne and uh, life conditions which affect acne. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, sugar. Uh, sugar addiction, estrogen dominance. I don't know if you've heard about that, but um, how do you overcome a sugar addiction? Am I a sugar addict or not? And what does estrogen dominance have to do with it? Uh, so I have a sweet tooth. I think I mentioned this earlier that I have a sweet tooth. I definitely like my sugar. I've been trying to cut down. Um, but realistically, I don't think I can go to like a level of zero. So what I've been trying to do is uh, try not to increase uh, my sugar. Uh, by the way, my my grandma used to put like six six uh, six tables six teaspoons of sugar in her tea. So maybe it's inherited or something. But I think if you know and or if you have come to know that sugar is not good for your health, and in my case, it's not good for my acne. So um, I try to reduce my sugar by not increasing my levels of sugar. So I try to uh, maintain it, or if I can try to reduce it, I try and do that. Um, so do I have a sugar addiction? I don't think so because, well, there is something called sugar addiction. If you Google the National Institute of Health, they have something that they research that they call sugar addiction. And ad addiction is something that if you take it, you're going to get like withdrawal symptoms or you're going to like you have a, like a very bad craving for it you can do anything for it i don't believe i'm like that i don't have i don't think i have a sugar addiction in that way but i do have cravings of sugar around like my premenstrual period i just feel like i need to take more sugar and it's something that i've noticed with time and also it, it's like where i come from it is like sugar was a normal thing for you to take so it's not like um I deny myself sugar but it's something that I've lived with and um, so yeah I don't think I'm a sugar sugar addict but I do have a sweet tooth so um, for me I think it's just a preference and uh, I can go without it like if I, can, I know I can go longer and longer periods without it for example I had a time when I was eating too much ice cream and I decided to cut the ice cream and I cut it for like months so I know I can reduce the sugar if I want to it's just that do I want to not really it's not it's it's it's, it's something that I like I don't want to do away with but I, do, I know I definitely have to reduce it because of my acne um, also I feel like the environment can have an effect on, on on your sugar intake for example where I live and that's in the US they have like a lot of candy everywhere like they would every occasion has candy if you go for a birthday there's candy if you go for Halloween there's candy so and, and candy to be precise just for your information is like chocolate sweets gummies um, all of that sweet stuff so yeah they have a lot of candy in their lives and they're always bringing candy for you to eat so yeah it can increase your temptation to take more sugar which i don't think is there like in other areas like before i didn't used to take that much sugar uh, definitely now i have more times that i can do that but i try not to do it uh so so what i'm doing right now is uh, and this is through a uh, lot of like research so how do I counter my sugar? Uh, I, I, when you read more about sugar, you know that they say that you should add fiber to your diet. The sug the fiber cuts down on the sugar by like absorbing it in your gut and removing it um, as you digest it. So I've been trying to add fiber in my diet. And what what is fiber? Fiber is anything that will make you have a like a bowel movement. So like beans lentils vegetables like broccoli cabbage uh, kale uh, popo fruits you know all of those things which make you have a bowel movement and oats also also is a good way to to uh, add fiber in your diet and um for some people i think also that they might do like detox kind of things to help them 
uh, clear like toxins which also includes the sugar in their digestive system so that is what i see other people do so maybe you can let me know what you guys do to reduce your sugar intake um also in my research i have come to understand that i may be like estrogen dominant and as i told you acne is for me or more most of the times is hormone related so uh, and i have come to know there's something called estrogen dominance where the estrogen is too much in your body and it starts um creating havoc uh, in terms of how your things like grow or how inflammation happens in your body so so what i've been trying to do with that like for me i know i definitely have estrogen dominance because of what i've been having throughout my life for example my hair growth uh, the history of my fibroids the acne all are related to estrogen so um i replace my sugar with protein i try to take more protein and the other way is also to exercise exercise helps to reduce the the um, estrogen levels i don't know the mechanics i for i think i read about it but i forgot but i maybe i'll i'll check it later and let you know how it does that but i know definitely estrogen helps to i think it's just the blood flow it helps to clear the toxins out of your body and um which i admit i don't do so much exercise mainly because of what i'm what i do in my life now i'm both as working and a student so exercise is hard to do but i try to do as much as i can but right now i know i'm not doing enough um so generally <clears throat> am i a sugar addict i don't think so i do like my sugar what am i doing to reduce my sugar um i try to avoid the tempting situations of sugar uh, i try to uh, reduce the oily foods as much as i can uh, i increase fiber and vegetables in my diet especially beans and like spinach uh, i take a lot of those i increase protein i've been trying to increase my protein especially like chicken fish um and exercise if i can and i try to do because i can't do so much i try to do the small short kind of exercise if you know the heat exercises i do heat exercises and um walking is also good like if i do like 10 minutes of walking every day that would be good and um yeah so let me know if you have heard about estrogen dominance sugar addiction what you do to reduce your levels of sugar um how do you improve your acne naturally and um if these tips have worked for you how do you have you done this before and how has it worked for your acne yeah so let me know uh you can let me know you can like the video if you think that it has given you something of value uh you can um subscribe um share uh i'd like to know what your views are so if you comment below and let me know what you're doing uh if you have acne and what you're doing to reduce your acne